Hey everybody, it's Patrick. Welcome to class. In our practice today, we're gonna to focus on finding our rhythm, connecting our movements to our breath. When you're ready, find a seat. Go ahead and close your eyes. As always, just take a simple moment for yourself. Try and create a little barrier around your space for practicing today. I think it's so important to tap into these first few breaths and breathe a little bit longer on the inhale, a little bit longer on the exhale. And know that this time and this place and this movement is different from whatever you were doing before. When you feel ready, go ahead and blink the eyes open. Come on to hands and knees. Circle the shoulders over the wrists a few times. Playing the fingers actively, allowing them to wake up a bit. Pushing through the base of the hands as always. And again, just kind of moving the shoulders around the foundation. Maybe your hands feel nice and strong, warmed up today. Maybe you need to take a few extra breaths here. It's good either way. When the hands feel ready, shoulders feel ready, go ahead and tuck the toes and push yourself all the way up and back into your downward facing dog. One of my favorite things to do in the downward facing dog is just bend the knees and walk it out just a little bit so you're swaying the hips a touch side to side. Moving through your side waist, side body, trying to create a little bit more length there. See if you can tilt the tailbone up to the sky a little bit more. If that requires bending the knees, feel free. And then come back to center. Push into the palms. Go ahead and inhale. Roll the body forward into your plank pulse. And exhale. Roll back into your downward facing dog. <laughs> inhale. Roll forward into your plank pulse. And exhale. Roll back into your downward facing dog. Inhale. Lift the right leg up to the sky. On the exhale, bring your right knee up to your right tricep. Let it touch there. Feel that connection point. Push down through the hands. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. And then float the right knee just an inch off the right arm. Keep squeezing the heel towards the butt. Driving the right knee in towards the right armpit, but don't let it touch anything. Holding here. Try and get longer through your posture. Take an inhale. On your exhale, reach your right leg all the way up and back. Three-legged dog. On your next exhale, right knee comes over and touches the left wrist. As you get there, try and keep the shoulders nice and square. So the right shoulder is going to want to lean forward. Don't let that happen. Instead, so pull the right shoulder back. Feel your stability. And then float the right knee just off the left wrist. Holding there, stay strong in your back left leg. Taking a breath, pushing through the thumbs. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, lift the right knee up in towards the left armpit. Again, don't let it touch anything. Just lift up, squeeze in, hold this position to the best of your current capability for five, for four. Lift it higher for three, for two. On one three-legged dog, the right leg lifts. Take an inhale there. And on the exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Hop onto your fingertips. And then just sway forwards and backwards a few times. Letting the legs wake up. Feeling the right big toe push down. You can even straighten the right leg if that feels good to you here. Finding a few nice simple movements. Remember, we're focused on creating a connection between breathing and moving. Go ahead and come forward. Right knee bent as much as possible. Drive through your left big toe. Lift your lower belly. Don't overthink this. Lift one or both hands off the ground and reach them forward. Be as long as you can here. Inhale to lift the chest up. Stretch through the fingers. Feel your upper body as close to parallel with the ground as possible. And again, that's a feeling. That's not an actual. Don't worry about the aesthetic. Instead, just try and create a connection to what you are doing. Feel the effort. Remember to breathe. And then bring your hands to the floor. Let the palms go flat. Step all the way back. Downward facing dog. 
Inhale, roll forward to your plank pulse. Move through a push-up, lower and rise. Let your knees and forearms drop to the floor. Inhale, pull the body through into your upward facing dog or little cobra. And exhale all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. On the exhale, left knee comes up to touch the left tricep as we move into our side two. Feel the action here, strong in the right leg. Lifting through the left knee in towards the side body as much as you can. And then let the left knee float off the left arm. Lengthen the collarbones forward. Lift the left knee higher. You can try and lift the left knee up more. Feel the left knee going in towards the left armpit even. Stay with your breath here. Trust yourself to hold this position. You've got it for three. For two. On one three-legged dog, the left leg lifts. Take the inhale there. Get as long as you can through the left leg. On the exhale, the left knee comes across and targets the right wrist. Try and not let the left shoulder sneak forward. Pull the left shoulder back in space. So the twist is coming from the spine. The shoulders are stable and steady. Left knee touches right wrist or as close to as you can muster. And then float the left knee just barely off the wrist. Drive through the thumbs. Feel a little bit more of a lift through the shoulder blades. Holding here. And then lift the left knee in towards the right arm, but as much as possible. Squeeze your left side waist. Breathing in here. Hold. Lift up just a little bit more. You're there for a simple seven. Lift higher. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. On one three-legged dog. The left leg lifts. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, left foot steps to outside of left hand. Hop onto the fingertips and sway forwards and backwards a few times. So waking up the legs, getting into the hamstrings, finding a nice rhythm as you move from place to place. And again, you can notice here, your front leg doesn't have to completely straighten, and your left knee doesn't have to stay completely over the ankle. Like you can go a little bit back with the hip and a little bit forward. You're trying to explore space, wake up the body a little bit. Have a nice moment before we do that extended lunge hold, which no matter how long you've been practicing is always brutal. So give yourself a sense of appreciation for your willingness to go through it, and also gratitude for your capability to do it. Bend your left knee. Stay active in the core. Hold steady in the legs. Lift one or both hands off the ground. Lengthen through the lower back. Try and lift the hips higher as you lean the shoulders further out. Stay strong in the right leg. Holding. See if you can stretch further. Imagine there's something at the end of your fingertips you want to grab, you want to touch. You want to create that connection. Stay strong in the back right leg. Remember that it's part of the equation. You're here for five, for four, for three, for two. On one, hands to the floor. Step back into your downward facing dog. Feel the legs nice and warmed up. Go ahead and inhale, roll forward into your plank pose. Move through the push-up, lower and rise. Knees and forearms drop, look forward. Inhale, pull through into your upward facing dog. And exhale all the way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. On the exhale, right foot steps to right thumb. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, reach your hands up. Opening the chest, stretch through the fingers. Try and get just a little bit longer here. And then keep your back left toes tucked. On your exhale, rise into crescent lunge. Remove the back bend. So your drishti, your gaze went from up to forward. Lean out. Reach your hands back by your hips. Lift the left foot off the ground. Straighten the right leg towards warrior three or airplane pose. Bend the right knee. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. Drop the left heel and open into Virabhadrasana 2, warrior 2. Sitting into the right knee. Stretch through the fingers. 
Take the inhale. On the exhale, straighten the right leg. Fold over the right shin towards your triangle pose. And you can always adjust the stance if you need to, or just bring a sense of buoyancy to the posture. I think so often we get rigid trying to place the hand on the shin, the foot, the floor, and not staying open to the potential and possibilities of our body each day. Bring your hands all the way down to the ground. Three-legged dog, the right leg lifts all the way up and back. And then pull the right knee into the chest. Let the right foot set down by the right thumb on your exhale. The left foot follows. Sit the hips low. Utkatasana, chair pose. Stretch through the fingers. Sit the hips down just a little bit. Lower all the way to the floor. Navasana. Bolt pose, lifting the chest, lower and rise, lower and rise, lower and rise. We'll do two more. Rise, lower, rise, step right back into your chair, pause. Straighten the legs and fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, your vinyasa. Journey back into downward. Facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. On the exhale, left foot to left thumb. Anjaneyasana, the right knee lowers. But keep the back toes tucked. Stretch the fingers up. Lift the heart and the gaze up to the space above you. Take an inhale there. On your exhale, close it off. Rise into your crescent lunge. Straightening through the right leg, lifting the lower belly. Reach your hands back by your hips as you lean the chest forward. Drag the right foot off the ground. Let it lift. Warrior three or daikasana airplane pause. Bend your left knee. Step the right foot to the back edge of the mat. Sit into your virabhadrasana two. Straightening through the back right leg. Bending into the left knee. Taking one more inhale here. On your exhale, straighten the left leg. Adjust your stance as you need to. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Again, finding buoyancy, shifting your pelvic position, folding over the left leg, using your upper body as the leverage to create space. Both hands to the floor. Three-legged dog, the left leg lifts. Take the inhale there. On the exhale, pull the left knee into the chest. Roll the body forward. Set the left foot by the left thumb. Step the right foot up by the right thumb. Sit the hips low. Chair pause. Stretch through the fingers. And then sit all the way down to the floor. This is our sequence. This is our theme coming into our strength today. Finding your navasana. Lower to half boat. And rise. We'll do five. So that's one. Two, you got this. Three, four, five. Rise back up to chair. Stretch through the fingers. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, your vinyasa. Meeting back in downward facing dock. Remember, you can always skip the vinyasas. You could also... Linger in upward facing dog if the chaturanga or push up is not interesting to you today. Either way, as you find down dog, inhale, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, step the right foot to the right thumb. Lower the left knee down. Anjaneyasana, reach up through the fingers. Tuck the back left toes, lift into your high crescent lunge. Reach the hands behind you, lean the heart forward. Warrior three or airplane pulse. Bend the right knee. Step the left foot back to warrior two. Use your arms to counter. Exhale, allow you to sit deeper into the posture. Straighten the right leg on inhale. On your exhale, fold over the right shin triangle pulse. Inhale, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog. The right leg lifts and stretches up. On the exhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Roll forward. Set the right foot by the right thumb. Left foot journeys to the top to match. Sitting the hips low, chair pose. 
reach through the fingers, get a little bit longer, and then sit all the way down. Navasana. This time we'll do 10 this round. Lower and rise. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On 10, we rock our way back up to chair pose. Use the hands if you need to. Sit into your chair, stretch through the fingers. Exhale, straighten the legs and fall. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, vinyasa. Finding the pace of your practice, finding what you need from this rhythm, from this movement that's consistent. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. On the exhale, left foot steps all the way up to the left thumb. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, reach your hands up. Open the heart, Anjaneyasana. Tuck the back right toes, lift the right knee. Stretch through the fingers, high crescent lunge. Lean the heart out, stretch the hands back. Elevate the right foot off the ground. Warrior through your airplane pose. Bend the left knee. Use your arms as a counterbalance to step back into your warrior two. Opening through the arms. Get long through the fingers. Straighten the left leg. On your next exhale, fold over the left shin. Breathing into the space you move into. Stretching the breath for even a moment there. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog, the left leg lifts up. Use the exhale to pull the left knee into the chest. Let the left foot step up to the left thumb. Right foot follows, sitting into your chair pose. Reaching the hands up. Sit the hips a little bit lower, lengthen through the fingers a little bit more. And then allow your hips to sit all the way down to the floor. You know, we have these 10 rounds of bolt pose here. So lower and rise for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Stick with it. 3, 2, on 1. You're rising back into your chair pose. Reach through the fingers. Get a little bit longer. Sit the hips low. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, vinyasa. Move through your space. And find your downward facing dog. Take an inhale as you get back. And an audible exhale, ha. We have one more round here. We're going to add in a few pulses to challenge our balance. Trust your breath. Trust yourself. You can do it. Everything else will be the same. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Lower the left knee down. Anjaneyasana. Inhale, reach the hands up. Open the chest. Exhale, close off the pose, rising into your crescent lunge, trying to eliminate the back bend. Reach your hands behind you. Lean out. Warrior three, your airplane pulse. Bend the right knee. Step back into your warrior two. Opening up through the arms. Get long through your fingers. Exhale, straighten the right leg and fold over top of it. Leaning the right shoulder over the right ankle to the best of your ability. Then bend your right knee. Lean forward, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Right hand stretches towards the floor. Left hand stretches up towards the sky. Pull your left knee into your chest. Rise up to stand, squeezing the left knee towards your left shoulder. Reach the left foot forward. Holding here. Sweep the left foot back behind you. Keep the leg strong. Bend the right knee. Reach the hands out. Step the left toes to the back of the mat. Lower the left knee, Anjaneyasana, same pose we started the sequence with. Exhale, hands to the floor. Palms go flat, three-legged dog, the right leg lifts. Take the inhale here. Exhale, step right foot all the way up to right thumb. Use your core to control the movement. Left foot steps into your chair pose. Sit the hips low, reach your hands up to the sky. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, sit all the way down to the floor. Navasana, 
We'll do 10 again this time. So lower and rise for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Find your Utkatasana chair. Pause. Reach through the fingers. Sit the hips a little bit lower. Lift up. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your vinyasa. Always remember at any point, if you'd rather just go step back to downward facing dog, it's perfect. Your focus, your breath, your presence is always what you're seeking in this journey. Last round, inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot to the left thumb. Let the right knee lower. Anjaneyasana, open the heart. Stretch the fingers behind you. Lift through the chest. Exhale, close everything off. Rise into your high lunge. Sit the left knee deeper. Reach back through the right heel. Lean out, warrior three, or airplane pose. Arms reach anywhere that helps you find balance. Bend the left knee. Step the right foot to its starting position. Open the arms, warrior two. As the right heel drops, exhale, sit deeper into the left knee. Straighten the left leg. Fold over the left shin. Let your left shoulder lean forward. Use your inhale to turn the chest up a little bit. Allow yourself to channel your breath to create that connection. Then bend your left knee, lean out, half moon pulse. Left hand reaches down. Right foot floats up lightly. Find your balance here. Pull the right knee into the chest. Sweep it forward. Rise to stand and then reach the right foot out in front of you. Feel the ability to lift the right foot higher as you drive through the left heel. Lifting the chest. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, bend your left knee. Reach the right foot back. Bent leg warrior three. How lightly can you land the right toes at the edge of the mat? Lower the right knee down. Use an inhale to open the chest and the heart, stretching the fingers back behind you. On the exhale, hands to the floor. Palms go flat, three-legged dog. The left leg elevates to the sky. Pull the left knee back into the chest, stepping the left foot to the left thumb. Step the right foot up to follow. Sit the hips low, chair, pose. Stretch through the fingers, inhale, get taller. Last bit of core work for our journey today. Sitting all the way down. Open into low boat pose, we have 10 lifts. So rise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on 10, rise back up to chair pose. Stretch through the fingers. Get a bit more elevated. Exhale, straighten and melt over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, your vinyasa. Again, I always like to use a longer inhale to linger. In my upward facing dog, opening the front body, especially after doing Navasana, a few different rounds in a practice. Push into the palms. Look long, lift heels, bend knees. Step or float feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sit the hips down towards the heels, not all the way to the floor. Urdhva Hastasana, rise up to stand. Inhale, reach the arms up, get tall. Slight standing back bend here, just feel symmetrical. Feel open, feel elevated. Exhale as you bring the hands back through center. Sit all the way down to the floor. Roll onto your back. Push through the heels as the shoulders land. On your inhale, lift the chest, lift the hips. Setu Bandhasana. 
bridge pose. Stay active in the legs. Feel elevated in the front body. Exhale, release, lowering the hips down. Our last active pose of the practice, bridge again, or if you'd like to take Ordva Dhanurasana, we'll pose. Place hands and feet and rise up. Three more breaths here. Charge through your legs. Push through the palms. Open the heart. Let it go. Take three breaths here, just laying flat on the floor. And take the right ankle above the left knee. Figure four, reclined pigeon pose. Bring your left knee into the chest, catch the left shin. Once you've, or now that we've reached the softer side of the practice, can you keep the attention on the breath so you can notice its capacity to soften? Just like you can notice your capacity to let go, giving yourself that opportunity. Maybe one of the most challenging things for all of us, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, just letting go. Keep the legs as they are, but on your exhale, release the hands and just roll on to your left hip. So the right foot will find the floor, right knee will point up towards the sky. Gently twist back to center. Release the right leg and just switch your sides. Keep it simple. Start out in the figure four. And bring your right knee up in towards your right shoulder. Catch the shin. Take a few longer, slower breaths here. Come back to the intention of the first side, letting go. Notice even as your hands are gripping your right shin, maybe you can let go of tension in the foot. Maybe you can let go of tension in the shoulders. Let gravity do some of the work. Release and move into that gentle twist. Letting the left foot land. Rolling onto your right hip. You can look over your left shoulder if you'd like. Come back to center. Let the left leg go. Find Supta Baddha Konasana. Allowing the knees to display open. Close the eyes and let this be your position for Shavasana. Let there be a gentle 
sense to your physicality in this moment. Allow yourself to just be easy, to breathe lightly. And know that when you're moving and you're connecting your body and your breath, it gives you the chance to move away from wherever you were before. Keep that theme going as you lie here. Just move away from something. Let go of something. Allow yourself to move into a more peaceful state of mind. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.